Hello YouTube! Welcome! It's Banded Wendy. It's Sunday the 22nd of November and I'm back in the kitchen again. So I hope you all join me. Um, I am making a chicken salad bake today and as I was getting everything ready this may be a wonderful idea for those of you who are hosting Thanksgiving dinner and may have a lot of turkey left over later this week to make a turkey salad bake. Who knows? So anyway, as usual, I'm going to show you how to make it and then I'll come back later and give you the nutritional information as well as show you how I pack it out. So to get started, you are going to need four cups of cooked chicken. I bought it in a can because I'm lazy. I like convenience. You're going to need uh, one small green or sweet red pepper chopped. You're going to need a half cup of sliced water chestnuts. You're going to need a half cup of sliced fresh mushrooms. You're going to need a quarter cup chopped onion. You're going to need one cup reduced fat salad dressing. Miracle Whip Light. You're going to need a te half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of pepper, one cup of soft bread crumbs, one tablespoon of melted butter, and I'm using the Brummel Brown, which is a yogurt butter, and a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. So to get started, we're going to mix the first six ingredients. So here I am with my chicken in the can, and I bought three large cans, so I'm throwing them into the large bowl. You're going to need two bowls to do this. So bam, there's the chicken. Uh, the next thing we're going to add is the green and red pepper. I'm lazy again. I buy it at the store pre-packaged. If it's more than I need, oh well. <laughs> um, I'm then going to throw in the half cup of water chestnuts. Again, I'm using the whole can. It's eight ounces. They basically have no calories really at all. So, oh, I might need to keep these actually for my calorie information. So then we're going to throw in the half cup of sliced mushrooms. I buy the baby portabellas because I just think they're so tasty. So that's those. Now we're going to add the chopped onion. So there it is, my quarter cup of chopped onion. And now I'm going to stir, stir those all together. So I'm moving you. Hello. <laughs> so check that out, right? Everything's in there. Uh, it's a little too hard for me to stir it all up holding it, so that's what it looks like. So hold on while I stir. Are you all having a great Sunday? I hope so. Uh, getting ready for the week, right? We're going to have an easier week, uh, at least as far as work's concerned, but I I'm sure many of you are going to be working it in the kitchen. Uh, so once we get all this stirred up, in our next bowl... We're going to mix up the low-fat salad dressing, or the reduced-fat salad dressing, the garlic powder, and the pepper. Alright, so here we go into the next one. So we have the low-fat salad dressing, a cup of that, going into a smaller bowl. Then we have the teaspoon, half teaspoon I should say, of garlic powder. Bam. I love feeling like Emeril. You know, Emeril and I went to the same college. I just studied business and he studied culinary. <laughs> but I wore my culinary hat on this show. The Banded Wendy Show. Okay, so now I'm mixing up the pepper, the onion powder, and the low fat or reduced calorie mayo or salad dressing, whatever you want to call it. Growing up in Ohio, my parents were big fans of Miracle Whip, but I'm actually using uh, mayonnaise with olive oil, so, because I like the flavor. So now I'm going to take the mayonnaise, or the low-fat, reduced-calorie salad dressing mixture with the onion, I'm sorry, uh, the onion powder and the pepper, and I'm going to mix the two bowls. So now I'm mixing it into the chicken mixture, the chicken with all the veggies. Doesn't this sound delicious? This is my first time 
Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be good. And what a great idea to do with your turkey. I'm not cooking. I swore off of cooking Thanksgiving last year. And I gotta tell you, I have a practice management of food addiction all weekend. Because I've been to the store multiple times, and every time I go there, everybody's in there. And they're all buying all the stuff for Thanksgiving. Except for me. Because I'm running a 5K. So, uh, I just keep telling myself I'm not doing it. And uh, my boyfriend's going to be here, so we'll get out to a family member's house. And uh, I will do Thanksgiving that way this year. So, let me just show you what this all looks like mixed up. Now that this is mixed up, I have the oven. We have a new oven. We didn't pick it out. My boyfriend's dad, who's the landlord, did. It's funny. My boyfriend and I both wanted anything but white. Guess what color oven we got? <laughs> white. So, oh, and the washing machine broke for like the third time today. Water all over the freaking kitchen. I was at, ended up at the freaking laundromat. Not to bitch in this video, but I guess I am. So anyway, check this out. Pretty cool. This is what it looks like. I'm going to move you again. So that's all of it mixed up. Looks like a chicken salad. I'm going to be placing it in this dish. It's a two-quart casserole dish. And I used my Crisco. I sprayed it down with Crisco. And it's going to go in the oven. And it's going to bake at 350 for, I believe, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out of the oven and I'll come back because we're going to put some stuff on top and put it back in the oven. So stay tuned. a quick shot. That's with the breadcrumbs, the melted butter, and the cheese going into the oven now. Finished product! Hey gang, I'm back and here's the nutritional information for the chicken salad bake. I gotta tell you, me using that mayo with olive oil killed me. So I've done the calories for you guys to use the reduced fat, uh, low calorie salad dressing like a Miracle Whip Light. So there's six servings. It's 168 calories. Pretty good. 18 grams of fat. 14.8 carbs. 2.15 grams of fiber. 2.1 grams of sugar. And 30 grams of protein, guys. So 168 calories, 30 grams of protein. Uh, my version has way more calories than that, uh, but that's okay. I'll just run them off on the treadmill. And I did do my best time today, 36 seconds, 40, 36 minutes, 43 seconds. So I shaved off like 57 seconds today. So anyway, uh, here's what it looks like. Check it out. The menu, I'm sorry, the recipe and the nutritional info to follow. Take care.